Hi, I'm Adrian Schulman, and I'm excited to be here today talking about two of my favorite topics, DevOps and diversity and inclusion. But before we begin, I have a confession to make. So I'm here at a DevOps conference, but for the longest time, I didn't even know what DevOps was. Um, and it's not because I didn't want to know, I actually really wanted to know, and I tried really hard to figure it all out. And it just took me a really, really long time. Um, okay, so now that I got that out, we can start with some more formal introductions. But the reason I wanted to tell you that, um, I'm gonna, it's gonna come out later in the talk. So just file that away um, for now. Um, okay, so like I said, formal introductions. I'm Adrienne Schulman. I am AVP of Business Systems at Cornerstone. Um, if you're not familiar with Cornerstone, we're an HR tech software company. Uh, we make software that helps organizations recruit, manage, and develop their people. Uh, Cornerstone is a 21-year-old company, and we started uh, from the beginning as single code base, multi-tenant SaaS, um, at some point, you know, in our adolescence, we got to the point where we had much bigger teams. We wanted to do a lot more, but it felt like work was harder to do. Um, we had more people, but it seemed like we were going slower. We couldn't do as much. Um, and this may sound familiar to a lot of you. So we've been on a journey, multi-year journey, to implement DevOps practices uh, in our engineering work. We are moving from on-prem into public cloud hosting. We are breaking up our monolith architecture into microservices and just generally moving from big bang quarterly releases into CICD. Um, so you can imagine also different parts of our organization are at different phases uh, along on that journey. Now as AVP of business systems, I lead a team um, responsible for operationalizing our product. Um, that's a fancy way of saying what you might know of as tooling. So think things like process automation, business intelligence, data privacy controls, support tooling, fun stuff like that. Um, so why I'm here today is to share my experience leading diversity and inclusion in tech. So what happened about two years ago, our CTO looked around, noticed a lack of diversity, he knew me as someone who was really passionate at the time about expanding opportunities for women in tech. I'd been a longtime volunteer for Girls Who Code. Um, I mentor a lot of women in tech. I'm just kind of loud and vocal about advocating for um, women's issues at work. So, um, and I was also the most senior women in engineering at the time. So he tapped me on the shoulder. He said, hey, Adrian, we got to do something about this. Um, so we did. Um, we've been on this journey for about two years. Uh, what's most interesting um, and what this talk is really about is along the way, we found a lot of similarities or synergies between our diversity and inclusion work and our DevOps practices and DevOps adoption. So I'm most excited to kind of share those connections with you today. Um, I'll talk about my experience. I'm gonna give you some lessons we learned, things that you can implement back at your organization to advance both DNI and um, diversity, or sorry, DNI and DevOps. And I'll make sure at the end I tell you how you can get uh, involved. Now, if we were at a conference in person together, I would give you all a piece of paper to take notes on. Um, but next best thing, if you have a notebook and you wanna scribble some notes, feel free or screenshot this. Um, these are just some questions I want you to be able to answer. So the first one, if you're at this conference, I'm assuming you're already passionate about DevOps. You may not be, but this is something you're gonna to wanna to be able to answer already or by the end of this conference. Why is DevOps so critical to your organization? Now, by the end of my talk, I'm hoping you can also answer these questions about diversity and inclusion, why DNI is really critical to your organization, and then also maybe a place to take some notes where you've got like specific tactics you can take home. So I'm going to say our industry has a diversity problem. I'm not going to waste my time trying to convince you of that. I'm just putting that out there as fact. Um, one of the things I think is good though, is we're seeing more and more organizations really invest, either start a diversity and inclusion or diversity, equity and inclusion journey or invest even heavier. So I think it's important to note that diversity, equity, inclusion, not new concepts, um, decades and decades old. 
um, I want to say DNI goes back maybe 40, more than 40, 50 years. Um, organizations, though, are getting more involved these days, I think for kind of one of four reasons. Uh, the first one being social pressure. So these are the CEOs or CTOs that are embarrassed about their lack of diversity. Everybody else is doing it. They may be getting pressure from their board to do something, and they don't really know why, but they're going to do it anyway. Um, the next is justice. This is a really strong motivator. We're seeing a lot of CEOs really feel a moral obligation to address the inequality in our communities and society. They feel a responsibility to really use their power and platform uh, to make change. Third one, which is interesting, is that even if you're not that motivated, the talent market today is really demanding it. Um, and what I mean by that, and this is especially true for millennials and Gen Z, are people only want to work for companies that are really committed to diversity and inclusion. Um, there's a lot of research that shows this. We've actually seen this in our company as well. Um, we have examples of people who have taken jobs at Cornerstone because of our commitment to DNI. They said, hey, I have other offers, but I'm choosing to work here. Um, by the way, this is the first connection, I think, between DNI and DevOps. Um, so I told you I didn't know what DevOps was. I do now. I've been practicing it, and I'm never working somewhere that doesn't adopt DevOps practices. It's a better way of working. It's less stressful. I'm happier. And I feel also the same way about DNI. Um, and the fourth reason are the companies or the teams that really understand that diversity, you can use it to your advantage to spark innovation. Um, in my case at Cornerstone,